Chapter 200 to a spirit sealing space. Kang Chan shook his head helplessly and had no choice but to go up to the test. He took a deep breath and a brilliant light burst out from his eyes. In the next moment, the purple blood within Kang Chan's body completely boiled and a piercing purple light erupted from his body, illuminating the entire hall. Everyone couldn't help but close their eyes and watch the force drawn stone closely with their divine thoughts. After displaying the strongest combat state of Kang Chon's hegemonic blood, Kang Chon summoned up the strength of his entire body and blasted out his strongest strike, the Force Zhuan Stone in front of him. In this strike, Kang Chon had gathered 60% of his thoughts, fused the essence of the Overlord Fist, and completely exploded his strongest power. Drink. Kang Chion roared as Kang Chion hegemony blood boiled within his body, and a purple divine dragon erupted out from his fist, like a dragon. Emerging from the sea, ruthlessly crashing into the top of the Force Zhuan Stone. At this instant, the entire Force Zhuan Stone erupted with a bright and dazzling light, as radiant as the sun. Everyone in the entire hall could not open their eyes. After a long time, the light dispersed and Kang Chion returned to its original form. At this time, everyone's gazes were not on Kang Chion, but fell on top of the Force Zhuan Stone. There, a shocking number silenced the entire hall. 50. Half a second later, a law enforcement disciple's throat mumbled, and he couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of water as he said with a somewhat jaw-dropped expression, his two wide eyes filled with shock. It wasn't just him. At this moment, everyone in the Great Hall had a shocked look on their faces. Elder Li said somewhat incredulously, It's the first time I've seen someone reach 50 times. There's no such existence in the entire history of the Heavenly Tao sect, brat. Now your name is going to be recorded in the history of the Heavenly Tao sect. Elder Li's heart was nothing but shocked. He used to think that 49 times was the limit of the Force Chuan Stone. Not only did he think so, including the other powerful people of the Heavenly Tao sect also thought so. Now, this limit was broken by the youth in front of him. Kang Chion was also very surprised in his heart. He had thought that he would reach 40. Nine times this time, after all. That was the limit of the Force Chuan Stone. However, this limit was broken by him. It really made him a little surprised. More importantly, he had only cultivated into the second success of the Nine Revolutions, Zhuang Gong right now. If he waited until he had practiced the third layer, then his strength would still be greatly increased. And by that time, he was afraid that it would be more than 50 times. It seems that the limit of the Force Zhuan Stone does not exist, Kang Chion thought in his heart. After testing his strength, Kang Chion left the Force Zhuan Hall, however, what Kang Chion did not know was that not long after he left, Zhu Wuan arrived. At that time, Kang Chion had just left not long ago, and the 50 above the Force Zhuan Stone was still there. And when Zhu Wuan saw this number and heard the comments of the people beside him, he was silent. He stood in front of the Force Zhuan Stone and contemplated for a long time. Before finally transmitting with Elder Li for a few moments before leaving the Force Zhuan Hall alone, the others in the hall were not clear on what words Zhu Wuin and Elder Li had talked about. They only knew that after Zhu Wuin left, Elder Li appeared to be beaming with a smile on his face. This brat has finally figured it out, with his talent. It's not too late now. There's finally someone to inherit the mantle of the old man. Looking at Zhu Wuin's back disappearing from sight, a trace of relief flashed through Elder Li's eyes. Perhaps because of Kang Chon's 50-fold blow, Zhu Wuin finally figured it out and just a moment ago decided to worship him as a teacher. After Kang Chon left the Liege One Hall, he returned to his wooden house. He was going to take the Dragon Blood Pill and continue to cultivate the Nine Revolutions Zhuan. Gong, aiming to train into the third layer within five years. However, not long after Kang Chon returned to his wooden hut, an enforcement disciple hurriedly came and told him that someone was looking for him, the bottom of the mountain. Who would be looking for me? Kang Tian couldn't help but frown. 
Then a bright light flashed in his eyes. Could it be those friends from the Great Tang Country? Apart from them, it was impossible for someone to look for him to find Dark Gold Peak. With a strong curiosity, Kang Chong's body shape asterisk 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 came out and sped towards the bottom of the Dark Gold Peak mountain. Above the Dark Gold Peak was not allowed to fly. Even if Kang Chong was a disciple of the law enforcement elder, he couldn't. He had to rush to the bottom of the mountain on foot. At this moment, there were several young men and women standing at the bottom of the Dark Gold Peak, and they were blocked by a law enforcement disciple who was not allowed to enter the Dark Gold Peak. I didn't expect that Guy Kang Chon to worship the law enforcement elder as his teacher, TSK, worthy of being the pervert of our great Tang country. A playful voice rang out, and the one who spoke was a young fat man with a glint in his two small eyes. If Kang Chon were here, he would have recognized this person. This person was none other than his good brother, Jin San Xiao. He guessed correctly that the people who came to find him this time were the group of friends from the Great Tang Country. Apart from Jin San Xiao, Lei Yun, Liu Sui Feng, Wu Wanyong, Zhao Linga, and Wang Shen had all come. He and Zhao Wuji are both perverts. There's no way for us to compare. Now even Big Head Lei has the potential to become a pervert. We're being left farther and farther behind by them. Liu Suifek smiled and said. On the side, Lei Yun couldn't help but touch his nose with a bitter smile. When the crowd saw this, they could not help but laugh. Swish, just at this moment, a purple figure came from the mountain asterisk 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 and appeared in front of the crowd in a short while. This is a purple rogue juice. Jin San Xiao saw this person, immediately exclaimed, went up to be a bear hug. The person who came was Kang Chon, who hurriedly arrived. He hugged Jin San Xiao and scolded with a laugh. You dead fat guy has grown fat again. The food of the Heavenly Tao sect is so good. Ha <laughs> ha. Cultivators obviously have a chance to change their appearance when they advance to the Yuan Ying stage. But unfortunately, this guide just likes this image. Lei Yun laughed as he walked and gave Kang Chon a punch. Kang Chon smiled and greeted the crowd in turn. They had been separated for several years, and this time they gathered together again. What made him a little surprised was that all the people present, including Wang Shan, had already broken through to the Yuanying stage, which really depressed him. Jin San Xiao even joked, You pervert! Finally let us catch up, right? Now among us, you are the one with the lowest cultivation level. When you go out to mix in the future, remember to mention my name. Third Master will cover you. The crowd laughed out loud at this. Kang Chon shook his head breathlessly. This guy still had this look. He hadn't changed at all. His eyes looked towards Lei Yun. Kang Chon's eyes slightly condensed amongst the crowd. Lei Yun's cultivation was the strongest. It was said that he had already sealed the king at the Yuanying stage. It was true that he was worthy of being born with a thunder body. At this moment, the potential of his special bloodline had already begun to slowly explode. I really don't know why you pervert have been suppressing your cultivation and not breaking through. I would have liked to compete with you. Lei Yun muffled his voice. His eyes filled with weariness. Kang Chon smiled and told them about his cultivation of the Nine Revolutions Zhuang Gong. The crowd was very surprised at what they heard. They didn't expect that there would be such conditions for cultivating the Nine Revolutions Zhuang Gong. My master said that the Nine Revolutions Zhuang Gong is the topmost body refining technique in the Flood Continent, and it is rumored that if you cultivate it to the extreme, your fleshly body will be comparable to an immortal weapon and will be unparalleled in the world. Lei Yun's eyes flickered as he said. Then wouldn't a piece of flesh falling off Kang Chon's body be an immortal weapon by then? Jin San Xiao exclaimed at his words, then looked towards Kang Chon with a hopeful face and said with bleariness, Good brother, you must cultivate hard and wait until the time when the nine turns of Zhuang Gong becomes a great success. Then just cut a piece of meat off your body and give it to me at random. The crowd laughed at the words. Kang Tian was so angry 
that he directly kicked this guy on top of his ass. But it was not because Jin Sanshao's cultivation was far superior to his now, and he easily dodged his kick. Hehe, brother, right now you're not my opponent. After dodging Kang Chon's kick, Jin Sanshao laughed with a face full of smugness, exasperating Kang Chon and gnashing his teeth. Lei Yun and the others watched this scene from the side with smiles on their faces. They felt as if they had returned to the time when they were together in the Heavenly Dao Demon. Ceiling List After chatting with Jin San Zhao and the others for half a day at the foot of Dark Gold Peak, Kang Chon learnt quite a lot of things. Back when he was in the Demon Locking Tower breaking through, Jin San Zhao and the others had already been taken in by some elders as disciples. Even Wang Shen had been spotted by one of the elders and taken in as a close disciple, and now he had already reached the Yuanying stage with extraordinary strength. Among the crowd, apart from Lei Yun, who had a special bloodline, Jin San Xiao and Zhao Linga had the highest talent, and their current strength was only second to Lei Yun's. Having reached the peak of the Yuanying stage, Liu Sui Feng and Hua Qianrong were relatively a little worse, similar to Wang Shan. But no matter what, they had long since become inner disciples now, and with the elders behind them as backers, they were doing quite well in the Heavenly Dao sect. Especially Lei Yun, being of a special bloodline, coupled with the fact that his master, Lei Boshan, was the Holy Sun King of the Heavenly Dao sect. He was therefore also very famous amongst the inner disciples, and was honored as the Little Thunder King. Kang Chion sighed in his heart. In just a few years, the crowd had changed so much. If he cultivated for another five years, I'm afraid that all these people would have been promoted to true disciples. This was absolutely possible. Jin San Xiao's talent wasn't bad. Plus it wasn't like Kang Chion to deathly suppress their cultivation. They were able to break through as soon as they were able to break through. Thus their cultivation speed was very fast. After a detailed chat with the crowd, Kang Chion learnt the purpose of the crowd coming to him. This was because, according to the rules of the Heavenly Dao sect, once one became an inner disciple, one could freely enter and exit the Heavenly Dao sect. Jin San Xiao and the others had also been away from the Great Tang Country for nearly 10 years. And this time, when they were promoted to inner disciples, they wanted to take the opportunity to go back and have a look. And when they came back, they decided to head to the Orthodox Demon Battlefield together to try their luck. Brother, this time I originally asked you to go back together, but I didn't expect such a situation to occur in your cultivation. Jin San Xiao said with a look of regret, Kang Tian had not broken through the Yuanying stage nowadays. Even if he was a disciple of the Law Enforcement Elder, he could not leave the Heavenly Dao sect. Lei Yun and the others were also very regretful. They had come to the Heavenly Dao sect together and had wanted to go back together. After all, in the previous Great Tang Country, there were rarely so many people worshipping the Heavenly Dao sect together. It could be imagined that once Kang Chian and the others went back together, then I'm afraid that the entire Great Tang Country would be boiling over. Forget it, you guys go back first. It won't be too late for me to go back after I break through the Yuanying stage. Kang Tian also felt a bit regretful, but then he straightened up his mood and handed over the enlightenment leaf that he had exchanged in the contribution hall to Jin San, Xiao, along with the three triple transformation golden pills, and said solemnly, Fatty San, help me give this to my grandpa. Tell him that I'm fine in the Heaven's Path sect, so that he doesn't have to worry about it. The gazes of the crowd couldn't help but be attracted by the enlightenment leaf. Jin San Xiao, they might not recognize it, but Lei Yun's authority was high enough that he had once seen the enlightenment leaf in the contribution hall and knew the usefulness of this item, so he was shocked. Enlightenment leaf, you actually exchanged it for a Dao enlightenment leaf. Sk this is a good thing. With this, your grandpa will be able to advance to the Yuanying stage even if his qualifications are poor. Lei Yun marveled. Kang Chon's filial piety moved him. Enlightenment Leaf. Jin San Xiao and the others were puzzled. 
But under Lei Yun's explanation, they immediately knew the preciousness of the enlightenment leaves. Don't worry, brother. I will definitely give these things to the old master. When you return to the Great Tang Kingdom next time, you will definitely find that the old master is already a Yuanying stage powerhouse. Jin San Chao patted his chest and assured. For Jin San Chao, Kang Chong was still very trusting and nodded at his words.